time the American people were given a clear choice yes, sir. for a stronger America, a freer, more prosperous America, an America that reaffirmed our commitment to our highest constitutional ideals. The American people choose strength and freedom and prosperity and our Bill of Rights and our Constitution every single time. So have faith when you're talking to your neighbors and friends that they'll choose strength. And lastly, let me say, if you're of a mind to exercise that other kind of faith, yeah, pray. if you bow the head and bend the knee like Karen and I do, be a good time to do that in the next four days, too. Yeah. And you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm here championing the team and the ticket and the cause, but on this one, I think Abraham Lincoln had it more right. Abraham Lincoln was asked in his time if he thought God was on his side, and he said, you know, I rather concern myself with whether we're on God's side than that God is on our side. So just pray for our country. Pray for America. Because America matters. Far beyond our shores. We're the last best hope of earth. An inspiration to the world. So just pray for our country. And if you do it, pray with confidence. Because I truly believe that those, those ancient words that Americans have claimed throughout our history through much more challenging days than we face right now, that if his people who are called by his name will just humble themselves and pray, he'll do like he's always done throughout the storied history of this nation. He will hear from heaven and he will heal this land. This one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So men and women of Florida, time's a-wasting.